A while back, I did a video on the integration between QReader and SOAR. And uh, there's one thing, one thing it is to detect phishing, which QReader does very well. And another thing is deal with the resolution of phishing. And the reason why I wanted to redo this video is not only the technology has evolved and has been made easier to be used, but also want to emphasize the point that this is not just about phishing. You may have this or many other ways of dealing with phishing. This is about automation. And I want you to see phishing just as an example of it. And the other reason I wanted to also redo this video is I didn't talk enough about the SOAR component. I went, it was too much uh, curator centric. So it, what we're looking in here is a workflow that um, is a graphic workflow and you can uh, create these, add components, and this is minimal if, if any coding uh, to actually do so. But the actual resolution of the incident starts by getting the piece of email because Curera didn't have the email. Curera saw logs that allows it to detect that this phishing, but the email, we need to actually see it. Uh, and so the first step is to go ahead into the Office 365 and retrieve the actual piece of email. And when you do that, you extract any URLs that are on the email, IP addresses, who's the sender, receivers, uh, you know, any attachment that are in there, and then you wait for all those tasks to complete. Once they have all completed, the next phase continues, and you're going to get threat intelligence, and I'm going to go into that and show you where you set uh, sort for getting that. You get information about all those components. You, you, you send the attachment, if there is any, into a sandbox, if you want to detonate it safely there, etc. Uh, and then at one point there is a human that has to come along because some drastic action will be taken if this guy was actually fished. Uh, you you want to make sure that a human goes ahead and, and, and validates that that's the case. And when if that is the case, then those drastic actions which are basically, well, tell everybody who has been copied that they're a part of a campaign, go ahead and remove that email. If we know that email is bad, remove it from there. Uh, if this... Uh, uh, Golden SAML attack, do some federation validation, reset the credentials of the guide in AWS, you know, uh, etc. Different components. And, and you can edit and, and, and put the actions that you deem appropriate uh, to deal with phishing or any other automation, uh, data filtration, any, any other thing that you want to automate the resolution of it. And finally, you document the whole thing. Uh, you can be opening tickets in here to all the components uh, that cannot be automated for people to actually do it. But in the end, you document everything so you can prove to an auditor or anybody else that yes, you were fished, but you dealt with it professionally uh, and you executed all those uh, tasks. In order to do those actions, SOAR needs to have integration with different components. And here I'm on the App Exchange, and when I select SOAR, there are 310 things. One of the things that you want to do, well, remember that we talk about getting that email uh, from Office 365, is there any integration for it? There sure is, right? Uh, what about uh, checking for whether there is some virus total information about it? So, so there's an integration with virus total. There sure is. There's, there's several components of it. Uh, they say that you need to revoke uh, uh, credentials and you need to go into an LDAP to do so. Active Directory, any 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 one or any other. Uh, there's sure integration for that. Uh, we said about opening the ticket. Do we have ServiceNow integration? We should do. Uh, we we showed that we were resetting credentials in AWS. What do we have for AWS? Well, plenty of integration for different components uh, there. Let's say that you want to perform some local action or even on the cloud actions and with Panorama if you if you use Palo. We have integration with Palo. We should have plenty of it. Um, let's say that you use uh, Okta for identity management and you were hit with the problems that they've been having lately. Well, we should do have integration with that. But let's say that you have moved into more uh, SASE environment. Do we have integration with Cscaler? We should do. Uh, basic things like, well, have this, this particular email address has been pwned before. Well, do I have integration with have I been pwned? We should do. Again, and I can just make this whole video for all the things that you can do with the integration. But uh, 
th this is this is key for being able to reach out with automation and fix the things that you need to fix to resolve the issue. But let's actually see this in real time. I'm here in Curator, and Curator detected, you know, phishing, as a, and, and it use process a whole bunch of logs for that, but it doesn't even have the the, the real email, right? Uh, but it, it is evidence good enough to say, well, it looks like this needs to be resolved because somebody has been fished. So I'm going to send it to sort. When I do that, I can have different templates, whether you, you want to do data filtration or any other type of things that you want to automate. In this particular case, we're going to take the default template. And that, in my case, is going to take me into the resilient system with an incident right there. But I'm actually going to go here on the actual incident first and show you the automation in action. The first thing is attach EM, EML sample. So basically go to that Office 365 and retrieve the piece of email. I don't have the, the Office 365 system anymore, uh, so I'm going to do this step manually. But you get the picture uh, the, when these things are done automatically. And here's the actual piece of email that I'm going to be retrieving. You can see that this is standard email. There are user IDs, uh, uh, the URLs, uh, IP address, a whole bunch of components in there, right? So let's go ahead and attach that manually. Again, this is because I don't have that server, access to that server anymore. So I'm going to upload the file, and it's that particular file that I'm uploading, right? And when I have done that, then the automation is going to uh, kick in. Let's actually go back to that incident, and we actually see the that first stage of the automation taking place. And I'm not clicking the mouse, and you'll see this, this action being... Uh, auto uh, completed. You see that when they get crossover is that the actions were actually uh, completed. And then when we reach that waypoint and all these actions were executed, then we get to the next uh, next action. It's the step in which I gather intelligence uh, uh, from it. And we hit that, that manual step that I was telling you before in which I need to, a uh, human needs to go here and say, well, I'm going to edit this and I'm going to validate that this is actually phishing. I'm going to add here a category of phishing and I'm going to go here and save this and I'm going to uh, complete and close it's saying that uh, additional tasks have been activated as a consequence of me doing that let's actually go ahead uh, to that incident again and we see that more actions are taken and these things again they get cross out so they have, they've been done automatically so the credentials are, are reset and uh, all those actions are actually executed and the final step is for you to go here and document and provide additional insight that can be good for the organization uh, on, on how to learn from from doing this uh, always better but the, the workflow has been completed again one thing was for Curera to detect something, and another thing is for re the resolution of the actual system. And you want to make sure that you have all these steps being executed automatically, because when you are under the, on the, the pressure of an attack, you're not going to remember these things. And you want to make sure that, that you have everything you know, that needs to be done completely uh, automated. Let's look a little bit on their sword. Uh, uh, th and I, again, I didn't do that on the initial video, but you know, some artifacts have been extracted. And we saw those in the actual email. So these are extracted so the automation can execute actions on every one of those. Um, what else can I show? Here's the, the, the component of the suspicious email. And we can see the same information uh, in a different uh, format. By clicking here, you actually get to see this is actual the actual uh, playbook that I showed you before. Very easy editable so in here we actually get here by going into administrations uh, settings uh, you can for example in here is where you define what are what are the threat sources that I'm actually working with that will work with the with the integration that I show you before and here you put the credentials uh, for getting access to those again a fantastic tool for getting making sure that curator on the SOC side those detection on the source size is actually resolution